Okay, Timmy, what do we got? You've seen it so many times, but never with these stakes, that, that atmosphere, those numbers from him, I mean, 56, it's, I mean, again, you, you keep seeing it. You can't be surprised by it anymore, but yet he still finds a way to surprise you. In the yeah. Um, you know, in, in many ways, uh, for 40 minutes of this game, it was frustrating. Uh, and, you know, just things weren't going our way. It just felt like, uh, you know, when it's not going your way and you're not in a flow, uh, sometimes you feel like the officiating is not going your way. Uh, it, it just shows you if you have the right, uh, you know, grit and perseverance, you can win. Um, and find different ways uh, to win, um, even if it's ugly. Um, and then it always helps uh, to have a guy like Jimmy Butler. You know, we said a lot about him in the last uh, two or three months, uh, and we still have work to do. So I don't want, you know, to say too much. I'm, a, I'm still a head coach, so, you know, there's not time to exhale uh, at all. Uh, but there's a brilliance uh, about how he competes at the game of basketball. Uh, and I think that probably sums it up, you know, the best. What impressed you most, most about what he did in the fourth quarter, defending Drew, defending? He's just all over the place. You know, um, he really is a case study, you know, for, for young players coming into this league uh, of what, how you can impact winning. So, yes, now uh, everybody will, will pay attention because he scored 50, you know, seven. I think he was beating himself up about it. It was a three that they, you know. <laughs> Uh, but um, there's there's uh, you know the two sides of the ball uh, and an incredible conditioning. You know uh, th these guys are that's a very good basketball team over there, uh, as we all know. Uh, uh, and in this game, Jimmy literally guarded every single person on the roster at some point. Um, so yes, you can count to the 56 points, or you can count to the the two-way basketball. You know where he's defending literally every every single situation, and that's what the the greatest winners in this league do. You mentioned how frustrating it was for the first 40 minutes or so. You guys are down 10 with six to go, and then you go on that run. Is there? Do you have any way of explaining just what switched in that moment? Yeah, it's the makeup of of this group. We have great competitors in that locker room. Uh, and you just keep on plugging away. Uh, you know, probably more games than not this season, we've had to win frustrated or things not necessarily going in an incredible flow. We're, we're, not, we have, we're not one of those teams that were scoring 150 points and everything was aesthetically, like, beautiful. Uh, there was a beauty in the grind, um, and so we've had some of those habits. But, you know, the series is still going. And, and we have great respect for the championship DNA, you know, that that group has. Uh, and we know that, you know, they're going to, to gear up and be ready, you know, on uh, uh, it's playoffs. I don't even know what day it is. Jimmy seemed like he was kind of directing the offense and managing matchups, finding the pick and rolls he liked throughout the game. What can you say about the intelligence level it took from him, not he's, just to make all the shots, but to get all the spots he wanted to get he's to? He's highly intelligent. Uh is one of the, the most intelligent basketball players in this association. You know, you can't do what he does on both ends of the court just by running around and, and trying to figure things out. He understands, you know, what we're trying to do, and he understands what they're trying to do. Um, and they're they're a very good team, so it's not as if you can just find a bunch of mistakes that they're going to make. They're well schooled, well coached, well drilled, and have a bunch of experienced players. Uh, you know, so you have to you have to access a lot of different parts uh, of the menu, and he's really developed his game over the years. You know, particularly the last you know three years uh, to be able to go to different things when we need it. Even beyond how great Jimmy was that fourth quarter, you saw Kyle and Bam forcing steals. Yeah. You saw Caleb. What else stood out to you in that fourth quarter? For sure, I'm glad you mentioned those guys uh, because they had their fingerprints all over that fourth quarter. Uh, Kyle's toughness and disruptiveness. I literally have no idea what his stat line was, but I know in that fourth quarter he had his imprint on so many possessions. You know, defensively he was he was just tough, physical, active hands, uh, you know, speeding guys up. 
uh, and then really helped us get organized uh, on the other end. Uh, I think one of the most underrated aspects of his game is he's a, a terrific screener. Uh, and then Caleb, you can't you can't say enough about him. You know, this season he's he's been willing to sacrifice and do whatever's uh, you know what we felt is best for the team. I, I don't even know if he felt that it's best for the team, but you need guys that are willing to sacrifice, are willing to dominate it and be a star uh, in a role. He's one of those guys, um, but he's also just a supreme competitor. You spoke how much of that there's a plan B. When Giannis comes back, things will change. You have that game plan. To see what he did after missing two and a half games with a back injury and the way he came back, was it very much the imprint you thought he would make no matter yeah. how he came back? Well, look, uh, the average fan has no idea how difficult that is, you know, to be out uh, that many days. And it's not like they practiced. I'm sure he got, you know, some, some workouts just to test his body. But, you know, his physicality and his ability to get to the rim is otherworldly. Uh, you know, that's keeping us up all, all night. And, we have great competitors, and we have fearless guys and physical guys, but he still has a way of, of uh, you know, breaking your defense down, and, um, you know, that's why he is who he is. Spill, as a member of this franchise, you've had a chance to see some all-time great games, some all-time big moments. Just, just where does this one stand? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not ready to rank anything yet. We still have some work to do. Um, I, I don't think Jimmy would want me up here, you know, ranking this performance or anything. Uh, he views everything the way a coaching, uh, a head coach does. No, he's not relaxing. I mean, putting ice on his body and everything, but he understands, uh, you know, what we still have to do, and he understands who we're facing. You know, we still have to find a way to, to get the job done. But, look, I'm sure you guys will be able to fill in the gaps of, uh, you know, what this performance has been, you know, historically for the Miami Heat. So I know Haywood's stat line doesn't jump off the yeah. page, but it seemed like the minutes, specifically in the first half, even just the, in, in the zone, defensively rebounding, just how big was he, I guess, to kind of push things forward? Yeah, like really important. I, I mentioned that to him right after the game. Actually, it wasn't just me, but a bunch of the guys did. Uh, you know, we, I just feel, you know, like we've had a lot of different moving parts, and then all of a sudden Tyler goes down, and then Vic goes down, and but... H just works at it every single day, uh, every single day. He's gotten so much better. I, 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 it even surprises me how much he's gotten better over the last uh, two years. Um, and that's really a credit to his uh, just relentless work ethic. Um, but those minutes are important. You, gotta have to have, you have to have big bodies you know, to be able to either play our zone or have some uh, some important minutes against Giannis so he's not just totally attacking and breaking down your defense. I know you talked about some of the great performances, but in any, and, and I know it's not a finals game, but did it remind you of the infamous I'm not going out like this fourth quarter that? Yeah, it's some version of expletives uh, and that uh, and one of the timeouts. But uh, I don't know. Jimmy has a way of doing that too that's just very calm and measured uh, and also angry. Uh, and vicious at the same time. Uh, he can balance all those things. Um, whatever it is, I love it. All right, thank you. Locker was open.